Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel. So I am super excited. I'm scrapbooking dun, 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 a Disney trash can photo. Whoops. And I just knocked some stuff down. So, um, just FYI, my husband has not unsubscribed, so I did not have to put holes in his socks. And I decided to pull out a couple different papers. Now, this is that uh, same paper that I stenciled through. Remember, I used the print for another layout, and I still had this. Um, and then I decided to pull this ticket paper that I have fussy cut. And then I thought that I would use a darker blue color because it has the dark blue in here. And I thought it would give a good contrast to what I had going on here with the photo. And then with all of these colors, I felt like this was a good match. So that's where I am. My, I have one photograph. The sketch calls for three. We'll see how close. We will see how close this happens. So let's see what I can do. Okay guys, so I went ahead and trimmed down that stencil piece. And at this point, I was thinking I was going to follow this sketch pretty closely. Like, yeah, I was thinking I can make this work. I'm just going to adjust my photograph so that it is uh, horizontal instead of vertical. And it just didn't happen. We just did other things. Now, this floral paper right here is uh, cut incorrectly. Uh, meaning that these flowers are laying down on their side and that's just the way it's got to be because I don't have another sheet of this paper to cut it correctly so that the flowers are standing up. It's just the way it's got to be. So if you can notice in the sketch there is a, a large rectangle that kind of like hangs off the main piece of paper on top of the background and that's why I grabbed that khaki colored cardstock. I went ahead and did that um, to kind of represent that rectangle. Now in my layout, I decided to put the cardstock all the way across the page so that it spanned that entire stenciled piece. Um, I just felt like since my photo was so narrow, I needed that extra oomph over on the right hand side of the page. Now I am going to mat this photo and I am using up some card bases uh, that I received in some card kits and you know how often I make cards not that often and um, it's still good paper it's still good cardstock so I figured I can scrapbook it with it now I am having a little bit of trouble getting this stuff to be even and straight and I think that it is the zigzag of the chevron that's kind of throwing me off a little bit plus I got flowers laying down on their side so that's totally messing with my mind so I have pulled all of the colors out of this floral paper and this ticket paper is just awesome. Um, it is a beautiful piece of paper to fussy cut out and I don't bother while I'm fussy cutting this paper out to cut out all the little ridges on the tickets. And I'm moving my hand like you can see me mimicking the ridges on the tickets. So there you go, there's your visual for the day. So now I am looking at this and I'm thinking, do I want to go with um, colors that kind of pull from the trash can? Do I just wanna go with all the colors where I have like rainbow-esque tickets across my page? And at this point, I really don't know what I'm doing. I am trying to kind of follow the sketch uh, see where that tag is next to the, f the photograph on the sketch and I thought those tickets would be good there. And then I remembered that I still had a decent amount of chipboard left uh, to go with this collection which is escaping my mind right now. It's not Paige Evans' newest one but it was the one before that. I cannot remember what it what it's called. Um, but. I pulled out these two little Polaroid chipboard things and since these were kind of that orangey and blue and the tickets I had pulled out were already orangey and blue I just kind of um, did them the opposite over there and I was totally pleased with myself and thought how awesome it looked. Now in the sketch there is like a little title bubble over here and um, I wasn't going to have it overlap my photo 
um, because my photo was way off to the left hand side, I just decided to create a little cluster over here on the right hand side at the top. Now these chipboards were a little bit thicker than what I wanted for this layout. Um, so I do go ahead and peel off a lot of those chipboard layers. So it's just the decorative layer on the top. And I am going to use my Nouveau Deluxe adhesive to go ahead and add some stick to the back of these bad boys. So I've got my tickets and my uh, little Polaroids overlapped. Now, my original thought as I was doing this was I was going to go ahead and find some sort of tiny word sticker, uh, some sort of phrase to put over top of these Polaroids, but that didn't happen. The Polaroids just stay plain. But I think by the time the layout is finished, I have enough embellishment and things going on that it doesn't seem weird to have naked Polaroids. So we are okay with naked Polaroids. We are not okay with naked tags. So now I am just looking at this and I'm thinking, okay, so I've kind of got this represented with the sketch. Now what am I going to do to kind of like really bring this together? And this is where I... I, there's no kind of about it. This is where I just stop looking at the sketch and uh, just go with whatever I want to do. So that includes cutting out a lot of these tickets and making um, a line of them across the entire page. So I am trying to use like coordinating colors um, so that nothing is super jarring um, when you look at it. So if I have like the orangey and the dark blue and the teal over on the left hand side, I'm going to make sure that it's on the right hand side as well. And that's just going to balance out the colors a little bit. Um, because if all of your dark colors are on one side of the page, especially where all the weight of the page is with the layers of paper, and if I just had the little white or light things over on the right hand side, you're going to feel like your page is tipping over to the left because there's so much weight on that left hand side of the page. It's like, what the heck is going over here on the right hand side of the page? So to balance it out, I'm trying to use uh, similar colors on either side. Now this ticket right here, I kind of cut down into a tag. So it does have a tag hole that needs to have something going into it. And I'm not going to worry about that right now. I figure I will do that later because I don't know if I'm going to have other tags that are going to need things shoved up in there. So there is a little uh, geotag. I just decided to layer that up over the wild and free. And then I'm going to go ahead and keep on cutting uh, up these tickets so that I can get them layered down uh, over here on the right hand side too. Now since I've covered up that khaki colored paper and the join, I want to have that same uh, line of tickets on the right hand side so that I can cover up the join as well. Because right now it just looks funky because there's some you know pretty layers and everything over on this left hand side of the trash cans but on the right hand side it's like what the heck is going on over here. Looks like it's unfinished. Now these trash cans are from uh, in the front of It's a Small World, in case you were wondering where they came from. Um, sometimes the trash cans, you can just look at them and know where they came from because, you know, it says things like Tomorrowland or Test Track or the Incredicoaster. Like some of the trash cans say what they are. Some of the trash cans just have decorations. Um, and the really sad trash cans don't have any decorations and they're just plain old colored trash cans. Um, but you know what? They're still a Disney trash can and I still take pictures of them. It's just the way it is. So I am uh, continuing to fussy cut these tickets and I'm just making sure that each color matches uh, like I said before. I'm just trying to figure out a way to build them up on this side of the page that doesn't mirror what is going on on the left hand side of the page. So even though I want it to be balanced, I don't want it to be symmetrical. And you can definitely achieve balance without symmetry. I'm 
Now I am using uh, just scissors that feel really good in my hand to fussy cut. You don't need teeny tiny micro scissors to fussy cut. Um, what you need is a good pair of scissors that are nice and sharp that feel good in your hand because you don't want to be fussy cutting with scissors that hurt your fingers, uh, hurt your thumb. You just don't want that in your life, guys, I'm telling you. Now, when you are fussy cutting, remember you're going to want to just use your hand to open and close your scissor blades and you want to use your opposite hand to move the paper around. Um, that way you are going to be able to get the most straight cuts um, as opposed to like wobbly cuts all over. Now, these are just tickets, um, so on the ticket edges, I don't mind so much to have wobbly cuts. It's not something that is going to like ruin my day if my tickets have wobbly cuts on them. So now I've got these uh, layered up. I've got the colors that are on the left also on the right. And then I decide I'm going to need to adhere this stuff down a little bit better. So usually when I um, create a layout, I don't use a tremendous amount of uh, adhesive while I'm creating the layout. Um, a lot of the times afterwards I add extra adhesive and that's just because I like to pull things up, move them around, and you know, if you just adhesive the heck out of it, then you're not going to be able to move those things around. So I pulled out a couple of flowers that match this collection and I am going to tuck them around. Now I put the flower down here, that big flower down there on the left hand side, uh, because in the sketch it is a little bit weighted over there on the left hand side um, where it has extra photographs, but since I'm only using one photograph, I figured I could add that flower there. Um, and then the second flower, I go ahead and cut it in half and tuck it in two different places on this side of the page. And I'm thinking that this, this thing is looking a little bit, you know, bare. There needs to be some more excitement on this page. I've got lots of tickets. I've got great colors going on. I really feel like the colors of this layout are like coordinating really well with the trash cans, um, which is not something I normally do. I don't normally look at my photo and pull colors out of it. I just kind of go with whatever I want to scrapbook with. Um, but for this one, I really was going for this cohesive look between the photo and the embellishments and everything. So I am using some foam squares here. I'm gonna pop up these flowers um, just to give it a little bit of dimension a little bit of pizzazz and then I'm going to put this other flower down uh, without any of the foam and um, I go ahead and nestle those petals into each other even though I don't overlap them so I'm still creating a little mini cluster even without things touching so that's a fun fact a lot of the times when people think of clustering they think that everything has to be layered together and put into like this little confined area where everything touches and everything is layered on top of each other. You don't have to do that. Clusters do not have to be um, touching each other. You can create clusters without your products overlapping. Now I am going to leave this flower coming out of the tag hole. I think this might be the first time that I've ever stuffed a flower into a tag hole. Um, instead of twine or a sequin or a, a brad or something. So that is a new one for me, but the tag hole is not naked, so we're calling it a win. Now I do go into my sticker stash, and at first I was going to um, put down this title that says Go See Do because it has that green, the blue, and the orange color, and I was like, wow, all of these colors match great, but it didn't... It didn't look right. It felt a little funky. So I decided to go with the word photo op. And this this word feels a little bit funky too because the cursive O's, those little hooky things, is so low it almost looks like an A. So to me it kind of looks like, you know, fata app. I don't know. It just, it looks a little funky. 
I can look at this and tell that it says photo op, but it still looks funky. Um, I don't like anywhere where I'm putting the title on. I didn't like it uh, on the stenciled bit. I didn't like it on the photo itself, so I decided to place it down here over top of my uh, sideways flowers. The good thing is, is that I've covered up so much of the sideways flowers that you really don't even notice that they're sideways anymore. Um, I do go into my stash for some tiny letter stickers, and I'm going to tie this title this trash can photo op. I mean, there's only so many titles that you can give to a Disney trash can layout, and since I already have an album full of them, I might have already done this title too. I don't even know. Um, and I don't want the titles to just be like where the trash can is or what the trash can attraction is. Like I don't want it to just say it's a small world. Like that's not fun. I want something else. So we went with trash can photo app. Now I didn't have any more T's so I went ahead and put an L upside down and they used my little white gel pen to make a complete T. And now I am looking for something else to put on the page. I feel like I've got lots and lots of paper going on right now and there's nothing else. There's no other bits. So I'm trying out a few things. I'm trying out epoxy flare. I'm trying out brads. I even have these pre-made little wax seal things that I think I try at the end and that's not working either. And I'm just flipping through um, like enamel dots, acrylic pieces. I'm just looking at anything to see what in the heck I can use. Now I think I'm gonna use these little clear bauble things, but they don't feel right once I actually get them on the page. Like it doesn't, it doesn't feel like they go on this page. Um, I love these little clear things. They make great um, embellishments and they, they look great on layouts, but for this one, it just felt wrong. Um, and sometimes you got to go with what you're feeling when you're scrapbooking and that didn't feel good. So here are those pre-made um, envelope wax seals that I was going to try to use. I thought that it would go because it was kind of a golden khaki color, um, but no, it didn't. So I ended up grabbing these tiny little adhesive glittery dots and that's going to do it. So there it is, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me as I scrapbook yet another Disney trash can. And um, really excited. I'm going to be heading to Disney, so I'm going to get even more pictures of Disney trash cans. It's going to be amazing. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys real soon for another video.